Welcome to Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. I'm Louie Birch from the Melbourne Demons AFLW team and today we're going to go through some great AFL skills and drills. Let's get to it. For today's skills and drills, I'm going to run you through the equipment that you need. But don't worry if you don't have any of Rebel's equipment, I've got some alternatives for you. Okay, so equipment number one, you need a football. If you don't have a football around the home, you can use any ball that you like. Number two is a Rebel target. If you don't have a Rebel target, you can use a tree or create your own at home. Number three is Rebel goalposts. Now don't worry if you don't have any goalposts at home. What you can do is create some at home if you need to using broomsticks or rakes. If you've got your backyard set up and all your equipment sorted, grab your football and your boots and let's go. The first skill and drill that we're gonna be working on is our kicking. Now we're gonna do two types of kicking. We're gonna kick at a target and then we're gonna have some fun kicking lots and lots of goals. Now the first point is making sure the ball has north and south, so facing up and down in our hands. Then with our hands, we wanna have our fingers spread apart around the ball, curving around it like this. Thumbs almost touching, but not. And making sure we have a nice, loose grip. We don't want to be gripping the ball like this. We just want to be nice and loose. So relax your arms, relax your fingers, and just place your hands on the ball. Now with our ball drop, we want to make sure we have that north-south drop. So it should drop straight down onto our foot. Now we want to hit the ball on our foot at the laces. That's where we want to hit the ball with a very strong ankle. All right, let's do it. Oh, five points on the Rebel target. If you don't have a Rebel target at home, don't worry. You can create your own or just simply use a treat. Yes, 10. So if you nail your kicking, take a step back. Go from a little bit further, challenge yourself. Let's see if I can get another 10 points. Oh, it was only seven. So I might take half a step forward. See if I can get the 10 again. 10 again, we'll move back. Remembering our technique. North, south, light grip on the footy. Focusing on the laces and a nice step through. We ready? Who thinks I can do it? Yes, I've done it, look at this. Now that we've worked on our technique for kicking, we're gonna have some fun kicking lots and lots of goals. Now, one of the tips I have is make sure you don't try and kick the ball too hard. That's a mistake many of us make. Now the next one is make sure you have a look behind you to see if you can pick something out behind the goals that you can look at and study whilst you go and kick that ball. I'm ready to kick a big goal. Now I'm aiming for that plant through the centre of the goals. All right, let's see if I can do it. Focusing on those tips I talked about before. All right, she gets ready, takes a deep breath. Kicks through the ball, what a lovely kick, it's a goal! <laughs> yes, another six point goal. Now, if you're nailing your goals, I want you to step back like we did with the other drill. If you didn't quite and you hit the post or a point, step forward. I hope you really enjoyed learning how to kick a footy and you kick lots and lots of goals. Kicking a football is all about practice, so keep trying no matter what. The next skill and drill we're going to do is marking. Now marking is really important in the game of AFL because it allows you time and space with the footy to make sure you can handle or kick to a target. And the next thing that it helps you do is make sure your team can get in front of the ball to help you score a goal. Now what I want you to think about when catching or marking a footy or a ball is making sure we have a W shaped with our hands. So hands and fingers spread apart and you can see this W here and we want to curve our hands around the ball. Now, if you don't play the sport of footy, you can use a net ball or a round shaped ball and still do this drill. We're going to start with a small throw, working on our technique. I'm going to do five, three, four, five. Now, if you caught all five, we're going to progress the skill a little bit more. I want you to throw the ball up a little bit higher. Still focusing on that W. What I also want you to focus on is try and pick up a letter on the ball and narrow your focus right onto that. 
Three, four, five. Now the next part to this drill is adding a little bit more difficulty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it up and we're gonna clap. We're gonna clap once. If you can catch the ball after that, we're gonna clap twice, three times, all the way up to five. So let's do it. One, two, three claps, four claps, five now. Let's see if we can do it. So the next progression that I want you to do is throw the ball up, touch the ground, and then try and mark it again. Let's see if we can do five. One, two, oh, three. Oh, where is it? Four. Last one. It's all about throwing and trying to find that ball. Oh, where is it? Five. Great work, guys. The next progression is we're going to make it more game-like. So you're going to throw the ball out in front, run and mark it. Remembering, focus on a letter on the ball and hands wrapped around it. Let's go. Out in front. Make sure you hang on to that position at the end. Let's do five, two, and back. Three, focus on that footy. Four, one more. Keep your eyes nice and focused. Five, great work. Now that we've finished that component, I want you to add jumping. So it could either be a mark, a specky, or it could be a jump in a different sport like netball. All right, we ready? Let's go. Up a bit higher, jump up for the footy or ball. Now, when you're jumping up, launch yourself off one foot. Make sure you have a nice knee drive. All right, let's do it. Two. Three. Keeping your eyes on the ball, keep nice and balanced through the legs. Four, last one. Five, well done everyone. If you can master this, I promise you, you'll have great ball handling skills. The third skill and drill that we're gonna be working on is how to bounce a football. That was one of the hardest things I learned how to do when I started footy when I was 18, was bouncing that football. It's not a round shaped ball, so it can bounce in all different directions, but you're gonna master it today. To master the skill of bouncing, we're actually gonna start on cement or a hard surface around the home. What I want you to focus on is the same with our kicking, is making sure you have one hand over the ball like this. Now, what I want you to try and do to start off with is actually bounce with two hands. What we're aiming to do is strike the cement at this part of the ball here. So it should rotate like this. Bouncing with two hands, trying to aim for this part on the ball. Now, don't worry if the ball overturns. It just means that you've pushed it a little far. So. Don't rotate it as far the next time. Now, once you've nailed that on the concrete, two hands, try with one. Same style as with when we were kicking, push down with the ball. So what we're doing is a flick of the wrist and pushing it down to the ground, aiming for that point. That's it, great work. Now, if you're not new to the game of AFL, you can even try your left hand. That's it. Now, once you're confident on the cement or hard surface, let's move to the grass. Now, the reason why this is a little bit harder is because grass is uneven and it'll make your bounce a little bit harder to control. So we'll try double hands now. Again, try and get used to the grass. That's it. You might have to push it a little bit harder as well because the grass absorbs your power. Try a single hand. Whereas the cement or the hard surface rebounds it. Focusing on that skill and focusing on hitting that part of the ball. Now, don't worry if your ball goes every which way. It's all learning and it's all practice. Once you've moved to the grass and you've nailed bouncing on the grass stationary, I want you to progress to walking and bouncing. Now, this is a little bit different because you're moving whilst you're bouncing and practicing that skill. 
When you're moving and bouncing, make sure you aim for the bounce a little bit further forward in front of you so the ball doesn't get caught up against your body. Once you start moving more quickly and you start into a run or a jog, you're gonna need to progress your bounce a little bit further in front of you so that you can keep running onto the ball. Bouncing is a really important skill because in the game of AFL, every 15 metres you have to bounce the football. Now, you've looked at all the progressions. Once you get to running, try sprinting and then get faster and faster and faster and master that bouncing at top speed. Great work, guys. What an awesome session that was. I hope you enjoyed Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. If you want to see more content from me and other athletes across Australia, make sure you subscribe to the Rebel channel and I'll see you all soon.